should I have a lesson today my own not teaching uh, so it is time to open up the piano and get some practice in so that I'm nice and warm before seeing my teacher so let's get to it habits I learned that section on an electronic keyboard so now I have to do all of those staccato 16th notes a little bit more leggero and the touching is just so different on an acoustic instrument so I've played this section like 50 times as you can probably tell <laughs> just trying to find that right um, touching for the keyboard okay I'm going to get back to it Just got out of my lesson. Whew. So the problem with this whole online situation is I can't have the air conditioner going at the same time as my lesson. Um, otherwise, you know, the background noise is so loud. On days like today where it is much hotter, it gets to be to the point where I have to turn it off in order to have my teacher be able to hear me. I have to have the air conditioning turned off for even when I teach my own students and obviously when I have my lessons. So I don't know if you can tell, but I am sweating so much. I'm playing Mazorski and it's, it's not, you know, the lightest thing in the world, so. <laughs> oh. And here is the first of approximately 500 time-lapse clips of me working because this is the reality of being a doctoral student where I spend about 80% of my days in front of either a computer or another type of screen or at my piano. So I'm sorry if this is boring, but I just didn't want to misrepresent my week. <laughs> this painting all the time and we want it. What are you reading? If it gets too cold, throw on the snowball. Blow on the snowball? If it gets too cold, blow. That doesn't make sense. Don't Maybe drink I'm missing the liquid. Something. I think I might need a bigger desk or a better sense of organization. I'm going to go make myself some food. <laughs> And leave this for tomorrow's Tracy to take care of because it's been a long day. Um, I spent the past couple of hours editing uh, the studio tour, which is probably, God willing, already up on the YouTube channel. It's already, um, wow, like four days late, but things have just been getting increasingly busy around here. Um, it makes me worry about how I'm gonna handle time when I actually have to go back in person. But you know, one day at a time. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then uh, I still gotta write a paper for school because I am that mid 20 year old who is still in school. So I'm gonna give myself a chance for my brain to stop hurting and then finish those readings and write those papers. 
So abrupt ending last night, I think I just wanted to, you know, bang out those papers as fast as I could and get to sleep. Today's been kind of a slow day. It's one of those days where I really, all I wanna do is practice, but I can't practice because I have about 5,000 emails that need to be responded to and invoices go out today for my students. So it was just one of those housekeeping days, but I have an hour right now uh, before I start teaching for the day. So we're gonna make the best of it and get some work done on the keyboard. measures of music <laughs> but I think um, obviously quality over quantity and now I have to get ready to teach for the next little bit and obviously I'm not going to film that just because of you know privacy issues so I'll see you in a couple hours eating a late lunch today I have class at five so just got done with teaching the meat looks so much more rare in the viewfinder than it does in real life. I swear I'm not just eating raw steak. And I'm gonna go chill for a hot sack. Tuesdays are just one of those days where I just don't have time to do anything. So I'm gonna see if I can get another hour of practice in. Is two hours enough practice? Ugh, okay. Stay tuned. <laughs> three hours I am in this class this philosophy of music class which I actually really recommend to anybody who's in the music industry I think it really solidifies why you're in this industry and you have to answer a lot of hard questions about the state of music in today's world and where you want classical music to go so you know I couldn't recommend a class like this enough and it's actually quite fun despite the fact that I have zero expression on my face for the entirety of this clip just finished class. I have a 10 minute break and then I have another class. Tuesdays are busy. <laughs> Honestly, the worst part is everything is on Zoom. So I feel like I haven't even left this room at all today between teaching, practicing, and all my classes. I have not left this like 10 by 10 square. And that's kind of the worst part because at least prior to COVID, you'd walk from place to place and now you just get up stretch your legs and you sit back down and you start another zoom meeting so anyway i am going to restart my zoom <laughs> which was actually not that bad because it was our studio performance class and i love hearing everybody in my studio play so if anything this is always the more enjoyable parts of my tuesdays i just wish it wasn't at the end of my tuesdays when i'm already exhausted and have like a tension headache from staring at screens all day oh my god my face is so shiny you'd think i had just actually come back from like doing physical labor but no i've just been sitting in a chair for the past six hours yeah i've realized that i've been in the same room since 11. boyfriend of the year award goes to matt because i came out from a very long day and he has a whole pizza waiting for me. Some days you can't worry about whether or not you're being healthy, you just sit on the couch, eat some pizza, and watch some really bad TV. So that's what I'm going to go do now. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good morning. This is one of those days where I can just roll out of bed and um, start practicing. <laughs> Benefits of staying at home and not having to go to you know practice rooms to get in my morning practice i have a class here in about an hour but it's one of those history classes with a bajillion people in them so um i can stay in my pajamas and just turn my camera off and get back to practice straight after 
so <laughs> I'm gonna get some work in and yeah it's about my Wednesday <laughs> This isn't anything that you guys haven't seen before. It's more shots of me, surprise, surprise, at the piano and then later at my computer. Such is the glamorous life of a performer during COVID when I can't really go anywhere <laughs> and I'm kind of just stuck in the same square footage that I have to work with every single day. And then I moved a whopping like 15 feet over to the living room and continued with my day and struggle bus through a workout. I honestly don't know why I picked a day when it's 100 degrees outside to work out, but I don't know. I think it helps with stamina at the piano, stamina in life. So I like to get at least a little bit of a workout in per week. It just so happens that today it's 100 degrees outside and I have no air conditioning at my place. <laughs> Any um, pianist out there, I don't know if this is just a me problem, but whenever I do body weight exercises that, you know, like push-ups or planking or anything like that, anything that requires me to kind of be at this angle for a while, on even on a mat, um, my wrists start hurting. And I don't know if it's just because my wrists are like super small or if, if this is a thing that a lot of people experience. Um, it's probably not enough to affect daily life but if I'm practicing like four hours a day after a workout like that I definitely feel a lot more fatigue in my wrist and I'm never sure if I should like keep going and if that's something that will just strengthen with time or not um so if there are any pianists out there who have an actual answer for me I'd love to hear it <laughs> yeah another day of teaching I've got coffee my setup ready <laughs> Let's go bring some music to some kids' lives. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might have been on my end too. I have no idea. I think we were just sitting in separate rooms or something. Good, careful not to do zombie arms. Ah, not slap cookies, but, but kind of like a jellyfish. cannot see Ow. the tops of your head. I guess I start in the center. You guess? <laughs> but, no, 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 back up. What do you mean you guess? I think I start in the center. But I don't know how center is center. It's not moving. What if this is bad? Then, then you're not seeing anybody anyway right now. Oh, so. Good. I mean, if you're not confident doing this, I of don't course worry. I'm not confident doing this. I've never done this. I did do research, but you don't I know what to do. I never said I would know what to do. Yeah, I changed my mind. LA traffic. It's actually our first taste of LA traffic. That's true. We've been here two months and we've never had standstill traffic, so I think we're lucky. Slow start to the morning today. So today is just FedEx um, and we're going to get stuff for the Mid-Autumn Moon Festival. We're going to be making some appropriately Asian-y foods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I forgot to vlog yesterday, so I think the last clip was just a uh, time lapse of me attempting to cut Matt's hair. So. Matt, how'd I do? I give you a B. A B as compared to what I could do, or a B as compared to uh, what a regular? It took you an hour Santa Monica Boulevard. to cut this amount of hair, and I feel like your lack of confidence was showing and made me nervous, and thus produced a lower quality of work. So you get a B. <laughs> Just got back from errands, um, trying to get a quick spot of practice in before I teach for the day. The whole point of going out today was to get ingredients for soy sauce chicken, and we got everything but the chicken. I have all the garnishes, no chicken. <laughs> Well,
What day is it? Say it loud and proud. Beach Bum Friday. <laughs> Beach Bum Friday. <laughs> I don't know how well I'm being heard over the sound of the waves, but this is our new Friday tradition. It's been a long week, and so, I don't know, we just finished up lunch at a nice restaurant. If you're in the Los Angeles area, there is a restaurant in Santa Monica called North Italia, and we just finished up lunch there, and it's pretty awesome. Um, we were a little nervous to do their outdoor seating because there were a lot of people and they literally let us sit in an entire unused section of their restaurant just because we felt nervous and um you know we're super nice took the time to like talk to us gave us like free appetizers, free appetizers. i don't know it was just like really really great service and the food is really good they do like handmade pastas and all of that everything's homemade everything's homemade yeah and what's not to love about that so if you're in the area totally recommend checking them out oh, we're gonna be here for the next couple of hours um and i could lie and say that i'm being productive and doing work on the beach but i won't what i'm going to be doing is essentially reading harry potter and listening to taylor swift it's been a long week <laughs> hi yesterday i don't think i vlogged much past actually being at the beach um, it was just one of those days where it was just nice to take some time to myself so I don't know as a classical musician especially it's it's hard when your job and what you're in school for all happen to also be what you're super passionate about and what brings you joy so sometimes I find that like work-life balance is really difficult to come by and I have to actively take steps to you know tell myself it's okay to not make everything um, a work thing and part of the reason I even have this vlog going well it's twofold first of all for anybody who isn't a musician or at least I guess a classical musician learning a classical piece and perfecting it to the point where you feel comfortable putting it up on the internet it's not like a one-week thing some YouTube content is stuff that you can recreate every week and you can upload weekly and you can get out content um, for musicians, for example, like if I'm working on a piece, it could be months, depending on how long and how difficult that piece is, before that piece is ready to be recorded, filmed, and then at that point, it's like if I don't, if I wait until I have something ready, I would just never upload. And I do know that part of the YouTube algorithm is just consistency in an upload schedule so you know the vlogging is a a way to just show that a classical musician doesn't have to be just on stage like life can be very full even when we have this thing that we're very passionate about and have to spend a lot of time on and also just in general um how much work it takes to make this a career and i know that this is probably not very representative of what a regular week would look like uh because you know we're stuck inside there are no live performances right now i haven't taken on a live gig in months i haven't done a competition in months and eventually i would love to vlog a competition experience because i feel like that's something that a lot of people don't talk about for right now um it's a lot of being okay without the constant driving force of i've got a performance i've got a competition i've got an engagement and being okay just being a pianist and practicing and being better so anyway what am i doing right now i've got fishing wire and i've got votive candles that are fake uh because you know i live in california and we all learned our lesson from the last time someone tried to you know play around with pyrotechnics and set off a forest fire <laughs> so we're not going to do that but today i am filming something for my instagram page um 
as we wrap up the mid-autumn festival. Today, Matt and I are celebrating that by um, making some food. I think what we're doing is soy sauce chicken, black fungus, and dumplings. And what I'm doing currently is um, putting together a nice little festive backdrop for the video that I'm filming today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang Chinese lanterns up on the backdrop. I'm looking at the time and I have to teach in eight minutes. So I am going to, well, the air conditioning's on so it's probably hard to hear me, but I am going to grab my laptop, start up my Zoom lessons and teach for a little while. Come back to this a little bit later. If anybody is wondering why soy sauce chicken is dark, this is why. The next few hours consisted of two adults and a five pound chicken trying to make room for each other in the world's smallest kitchen. And I think we did reasonably well. The chicken was delicious, the dumplings didn't burst open, which is really the only benchmark I hold for myself when I make dumplings. Cute. And we had a generally lovely evening, which culminated in Matt trying to learn Cantonese. Tonal languages. 101. Dean. Wa. Good, that was better. So Dean goes down Dean and the wa goes up. Dean wa. Yes, now use that same thing and say mooncake. You bang. Yu bang. Try again. You bang. Now how do you say phone? Dean wa. Wa goes up. Dean wa. Wa. Dean wa. <laughs> Dean wa. Dean wa. Yeah, that was a little bit better. Dean goes down. Dean. Dean. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should talk to my mom like that next time. I hope she doesn't take that as I really can't pronounce tone. Hi, Mrs. Wong. Dean Wa. <laughs> I need to call my ma. <laughs> Dean Wa. <laughs> that I am. I feel like today has been just a catch-up day because yesterday was the holiday. I ended up pushing a lot of work to today. So today has really just been a lot of practice, a lot of reading, a lot of cleaning. It hasn't been all that eventful and I didn't really film much of it. <laughs> Looking back, it turned out to be a much more eventful week than I had anticipated. I hope that this video doesn't end up being like 40 minutes long. I will definitely, definitely cut. As the week kind of progressed, I think I found a different rhythm where I only pulled out the camera for, you know, things that were maybe a little bit less mundane. If you have any comments for me about what I can do better, like I'm sure there's so much that I could have done better, leave it down below and I will try to incorporate that for next time and just continue to improve the quality of this channel. I will see you for our next video very soon. Bye.